Good morning, everybody. It's Roland Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia. We've done part one on reverse plate smokers. We did part two on Texas style offset smokers. We did part three on grills. And I think we better finish off with a part four. Part four is a grill smoker combo. Now a grill smoker combo gives you a restaurant on wheels. This is a reverse plate. We went over that in part one, so go back to part one. This is a reverse plate. This is actually a, a used trade in one that we sent to the racetrack. You can see the reverse plate in there. You see that little bit of a gap there? We actually have to push that back another half inch. There should be no gap on a reverse plate to its firebox, no big deal. That reverse plate is removable to, so we can clean it. So again, your smoke and fire will be in your offset firebox, just like a Texas offset. But the smoke and heat comes under that reverse plate. Let me open this up. comes under the reverse plate and you can see the reverse plate here ours go generally about 80 percent here is your opening here now your smoking heat will come up through your meat racks of meat and out through your chimney now again this is a barn door smoker what are the benefits well number one you can see it right there the doors swing to the right and the left you don't have to worry about lifting a heavy barrel door. And I will tell you, the barrels are heavy. That's why that one has a counterweight in the back there. That's not too bad because that's really a three split door setup. Again, you have a lot of capacity. Now this is a two rack barn door we do a three rack barn door that's a huge amount of capacity so barn doors and rotisseries you got a huge area in here you got to fill up with hot smoke and heat you have to build a very decent fire keep the fire in the middle of the firebox so it flows out of the firebox under that reverse plate through your meat racks and up through your chimney. The chimney should be open at the beginning so you get a nice flow throughout. Once you get that flow, we talked about this I believe in part two, then you need to close that chimney probably 80 90 percent to start backing up the heat and smoke in your smoker. Again you need a big firebox you're going to need a lot of smoke and heat. And in a rotisserie, you want even more flow coming through. So you're going to have more smoke and heat to flow through. Again, think of smoke like water. Water flows down a river. Smoke flows through a firebox. The smoker out the chimney. Now, we have a, a reverse a piece of steel plate here. So you can be running this at 250, 235, whatever your temperatures are going to be. And again, this is a smoker. This is low and slow. This is not something where you need to get that firebox up to five, six, seven, eight hundred degrees. Now, obviously, for a bigger rotisserie, a three rack barn door you're going to have to get the temperature up because you got to generate that temperature now you can see there's a little bit of wind here right now actually it's getting better this wind right now for me and my experience would be e would be easy to get a fire going but if there's no wind get a fan a leaf blower and I know we all have fans lying around. You need to blow air into the firebox. That blows smoke and heat into your smoker because that smoke and heat has traveled all through here, up through here, and out through the chimney. Okay? And again, firewood, we'll do another talk about that. There's BTUs of firewood. 
Okay, that's what everybody talks about oak and hickory and mesquite. Those are high BTUs. Firewood means they, they burn hot. Apple, peach, pear, delicious firewood, but it's low BTU. It's a fruit wood, does not burn that hot. On a bigger smoker, you're going to need those high BTUs of the hickory, the oak, the mesquite to get that temperature up. You can use the apple, the pecan, the peach to, quote, flavor your smoke, but you need that hotter wood. Does that make sense? I hope so. You can always uh, DM me or text me. Now, here's your grill. Hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, chicken, pork chops. Are you really going to cook a butt in your grill? Well, I guess you could, but you really don't. You cook that in your smoker. You cook your brisket in your smoker. Some people smoke their ribs. Some people grill their ribs. I like my steak with grill marks. What is grill again? We went over that on part three. Grill means direct fire. So on the bottom of this is direct charcoal and firewood on the bottom. And don't worry about the rust. We pressure wash that out before people pick it up the next time. No big deal. So you, your charcoal is going to go down through here in the bottom there and that's going to give you a direct fire. So your main cooking is going to be here. Your heating is here. And then you should put your meats in an aluminum pan and put them on top to rest. That's what great, what is great about this design is you can almost think of the roof as another shelf. Think of it as a resting area. Great place to keep your sauces warm, not burnt. And down here, your air, your clean out is through this door here. So I hope that explains a little bit more about a grill, smoker, reverse plate, barn door, rotisseries, you got a lot of area you have to heat up and the benefits of all type. Again, grill smoker, that's a mainly a grill butt smoker. That's a Texas offset, means the chimney's in the front, firebox in the back. This is a reverse plate smoker, firebox there, reverse plate, smoke goes through here, back up and out the chimney. So I hope that answers a lot of questions for everybody. This is Roland Barbecue Smoker Pros. Give us a call, holler, text 770-866-2561. Barbecue on.